the simulation that I use is uh, called CapSim and it's from a company called Capstone based out of Chicago and it's a business strategy simulation based around a, a whole of taking a whole of business approach to um, running a company. The course that uses the simulation is called Business Decision Making Simulation. The, the brief overview is that the whole course is based around the simulation. So the simulation doesn't support uh, general material um, uh, of theoretical nature. It's allowing the students to apply the theory that they've learnt from all their other courses into a real world, sim, um, real world uh, situation. A number of things they learn from the simulation are things like um, how their discipline um, relates to all other disciplines in business, um, how a decision made in finance can have a major impact in production, in marketing, a decision made in marketing can impact on production, um, uh, a decision made in research and development means that there's less money for marketing and, and, and so on. They also get to understand not just working with their own, within their own budgets, but they start talking in hundreds of millions of dollars. And that kind of freaks them out as well. Um, but it just gives them that real world experience they need to say, yeah, I can go out into a company and I know that even though I'm not an accountant, I can read a cash flow statement or a balance sheet and know where what I've done really impacts on the on that statement and, and the finances of the company. It has a number of um, quizzes um, and uh, homework activities built into it so that they can um, take the theory that they've learnt from previous courses and in, for instance, in strategic management, they can look at business strategies and they have to choose a business strategy. They can look at um, competitor analysis so they can take some of their general marketing and look at how to analyse competitors and it gives them a bit of a breakdown and then they get to go away and do it. So a lot of the stuff is built into the simulation. We do offer some additional resources online for students that haven't taken certain courses like strategic management because it's not part of their degree structure. So student learning is assessed across an, a number of different areas. Um, they have uh, their homework tasks are assessed for a small percentage of their overall grade. Um, and the major assessment is the simulation in two parts. So firstly, they undertake the simulation as a group um, and that group, um, their final performance, they run the simulation in practice, which is not assessed and they get some formative feedback and then they run the, the simulation for eight simulated years and they're assessed on their overall final balance scorecard and also on some key success measures which they themselves have selected from a list of eight. They choose four success measures and they assign priority percentage to each of those success measures um, and they do that about halfway through the simulation and that forms the major part of their assessment. They also um, then run the simulation in a more intense fashion individually so that they're not relying on everybody else but uh, on what they've learnt across the period of running the simulation for eight years. And so they run that in a supervised exam type environment um, where they run the simulation for four years in a more limited capacity. Um, and they're assessed then uh, on purely on their balanced scorecard and also on some multiple choice questions that are inbuilt into the, the simulations exam module. Finally, they do a reflective piece where they reflect on what they've learnt out of the simulation in terms of decision making in a team environment versus decision making in, as an individual. So what they learnt out of doing it as a team and what benefits they got from team decision making versus how they made their decisions as an individual in the su supervised assessment. Um, and so um, their, their level of teamwork is, is therefore assessed as well uh, in that final reflective piece.